now let's say you have a very cool unity game and now you need to try it on uh, on iphone so, and this is how you can do that so first of all make sure you have the the latest version of xcode installed on your on your machine and then make sure your ios version on your iphone is up to the latest and then connect your iphone into your machine using the the usb cable right then i need to go to unity hub and then go to installs and then click this icon and then add modules make sure you have the ios build support for this one you need to download around something around 500 mb and just wait until uh, that's done right now let's go back to, into our project so now click file and then click build settings so now you, you might have selected the platform as pc or webgl now we need to switch that into ios now click this ios button and then click the switch platform at the end right now it's completed then i can click this build and run button i need to select a place to store my ios project uh, usually I'll, I'll use the my existing unity project and create a directory called build ios and you can choose any name you want and I, i'm going to click save this will convert my application into an, an ios project basically run inside xcode Now you can see my Xcode is compiling the source code and let's wait until it, it finishes. Right, now it's called building failed and you can see an icon like this. And uh, let's see what was the error. So it's called code signing error. So we, can, we need to fix that. I need to click the Unity iPhone. Make sure you click the Unity iPhone. And then uh, here we need to give a bundle identifier. So make sure that's something unique. Usually it's it's the the reverse of a domain name for example i'll choose something like this io kadira basically i have a website called kadira.io so i'm gonna choose dev live right this is it now click the signing and capabilities you need to click this checkbox called automatically manage signing and then i need to enable this automatic now click this team and here you i have already connected my icloud account otherwise you have to manually connect it again so here i'll i'll, I'll select my my iOS, ios account then i'm gonna hit the play button again or the build button again right now it's installing my application on ios and try to run it but then it, it will throw me an error called could not launch dev live so now okay that's fine let's click ok now i can see my app inside ios so let me click that so it will show me a message called untrusted developer okay that's fine let's fix that i'm going to settings and then go to general and there's a section called device management click that then click this developer app and then you need to trust apple development then there should be your email here so i'm going to click that i'm going to click trust then i'm going to click my app again or the game again and it should work now you can rotate it again and you can see my game is working inside ios and it's really good right let's say i need to change something so let's do a little change on my app right i made this this guy small right then i can try to see it on ios i'm gonna click file and build and run right then xcode is complaining that there's a, another version is running let's stop that so that will stop my existing game on ios and then it will install a new one right then you can see on my iphone so there's a newer version running directly from unity so this is it